Since Meghan Markle started dating Prince Harry, the two have been branded by many as the most affectionate royal couple. From their first few public appearances, it was abundantly clear that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex seemed comfortable with displaying their affection. On the other hand, Kate Middleton and Prince William have been accused of not being modern as they keep their PDA to a minimum. How Kate Middleton's allergy made royal life awkward for her, how Kate Middleton coped with second Prince William breakup, this. However, according to body language expert Elizabeth Kunke, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's body language was not so different from Meghan and Harry's when they got married. After their wedding service, on April 29, 2011, William and his bride appeared on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. The two shared two kisses in front of delighted crowds. In 2012 documentary William and Kate, the first year, Ms. Kunke said, they did the kiss, that first kiss, like okay, let's get this one over with. But it was the second one which was the real humdinger. It was not rehearsed it was spontaneous, and again it showed the passion. Those two are not afraid to touch each other, as a matter of fact it looks like they like to touch each other. During their first royal tour together in Canada in 2011, Kate and William were not embarrassed to share some adorable moments. The royals enjoyed a cuddle on Prince Edward Island after taking part in a dragon boat race at Dalva by the sea and were often seen holding hands. When the couple attended the London Olympics in 2012, they could not help but celebrate a win for Great Britain in the track cycling event with an excited hug. Body language expert Tracy Cox recently claimed that the reason Kate and William appear to be less touchy than Prince Harry and Meghan Markle now is simply because they have been together for so long. Ms. Cox told Express.co.uk, Kate and William are absolute best friends, they are in the companionate stage of the relationship and have a strong tested love. They don't have to do soppy eyes at each other, they don't have to touch each other every second. One of the reasons is that they have been together for so long and grew up together. They have got high compatibility, whereas Meghan and Harry they are still getting to know each other.